Okay, question 10. 4x squared plus 8x plus 3 is identically equal to a times x plus b all squared plus c. Find the values of the constants a, b and c. So essentially what we're asked here to do is complete the square. So I'm going to write the expression down first. We get 4x squared plus 8x plus 3. And what I'm going to do is I, I want the coefficient of x squared to be 1. So I'm going to factor out the 4. And that leaves me with x squared plus 2x. And we have the 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square on this part here. And leave everything else where it is. So keep the 4 there. And now we're going to worry about completing the square on this red part. So um, I'm going to half the coefficient of x. And put a little squared sign there so we write x plus half the coefficient of x which is a one and um, square that um, i need to take away one close the brackets close this bracket here because the four is acting on everything there and don't forget we have the three at the end now i'm going to multiply that four back in so we get four times the x plus 1 to be squared minus 4. I have an extra bracket there that I didn't need. I don't know where that came from. Silly little error. There we go. It's gone. Um, minus 4. And then we have that plus 3. So that gives us 4 times x plus 1 to be squared negative 4 plus that 3 minus 1. So we can say that A equals 4, B equals 1, and C equals negative 1. Okay, so on the axis on page 27, sketch the curve with the equation Y equals 4X squared plus 8X plus 3. So we're expected to sketch this curve, showing clearly the coordinates of any points where the curve crosses the coordinate axis. All right, now we don't have a page 27, so... I'm going to draw my own axis. Okie dokie. Now, part B. Alright, so just let's write down what we had to begin with. To begin with, 4x squared plus 8x plus 3. Okay, so the first thing we know is that when when um, x equals 0, y equals 3. So we're going to have a 3 here. It's going to cut the axis at 3. Um, I know it's a u-shaped graph because it's a positive x squared, so it's a u-shaped graph like so. And now the next thing I need to work out is where the, um, where the, the coordinates at which it cuts the x-axis are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this blue function because it's the same as the red one so I'm going to let 4 times x plus 1 to be squared minus 1 be equal to 0 because on the x-axis the y-ordinate is 0 so it's going to be equal to 0 so that let's see if we can solve this now for x so 4 times x plus 1 to be squared is going to equal 1. Divide both sides by 4. So you get x plus 1 to be squared is going to equal 1 over 4. Take the square root of both sides. x plus 1 is going to equal plus or minus 1 over 2. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4 is 2. Which means that x must be equal to negative 1 plus or minus a half. So what does that give us? When let's just shift this over a wee bit. I'll put this guy here. Lovely. When when x equals let's see negative one take away a half. When x is negative three over two, y is going to equal zero. And when x is 
I'm going to add a half to this, which is going to give me negative a half. Y will also equal zero. So in fact, it's going to cut the axis at negative three over two and negative a half, negative a half. And another thing we might be able to work out is in fact, from because we completed the square, when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. So we actually know the minimum, which is going to be round about here. Negative 1, negative 1. And it's a U-shaped graph, like I said, so it's going to come down. That's the minimum there. Pass up through that point and through the, the 3. It should have more of a U-shape. It's just difficult to do it on the, this but hopefully we get the idea.